Hey everybody, I'd like to show you a quick tip here and another one for tip of the day. And this is dealing with the gain levels in your events that you can go ahead and control individually. If you look at this guitar, acoustic guitar lead track, the green one here, you can see it may sound okay, plain wise, we'll deal with that a little later. But uh, I've got some loud sections right here that you can visually see with the waveform. Let me just roll back a little bit. And right there specifically, I kind of found that this is much louder than the rest. And a solution would be, yes, I can just go ahead and slap a compressor on that and call it done. But let me just show you something that I think is a little bit more elegant. And let me just zoom in on that a little bit. First, what I want to do is I'm going to take off my snap here so I can click anywhere uh, with my splitter tool and not worry about uh, snapping to the grid. So I'm going to uh, center click on my little mouse and then I'll hit my cutter. And I'm just going to cut this right there and I'm going to cut it right there and go back to my arrow. Now if you click on the bottom half of the waveform you can see I'm selecting the different clips and we've got this guy isolated now by itself. What I'm going to do is change the volume of this and this is really slick in Personas. You notice up here is a little handle and I can just pull and grab and pull this down. And this is really hot. You can see I'm at, uh, what's that say, 3.9 minus dB that I've lowered that. And let me just uh, back up a little bit on that. And as we roll by you here, I think it's going to blend in a lot better. Here we go. And let's just go ahead and bring these guys up just a tad, just a match, just to show you what you can do. I just cut it there. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to raise it up a little bit. And that kind of matches what we have. And let's just play from there. And to me that really blended things out quite a bit better. And uh, like I say, I'm happy with doing that. I can just go through the entire track. Let me zoom uh, out and you can see I'm going to have a couple of areas here where I would probably want to fix up and this little loop and then if I want to I can go ahead and put a compressor on the whole track overall and I'm not making my compressor do a, a lot of grunt work but it can I can put a, a lighter ratio on it and I think it will sound a lot more musical rather than uh, having a compressor just trying to deal with these peaks. You come in here and clean up your tracks a little bit beforehand, before mixing, and I think you'll be set to uh, set to go. But at any rate, that's tip of the day with event game staging, or however you want to call it. But I find it handy, and it's extremely easy to do in Personas Studio One Pro. Hey, and you guys, here we go. <laughs> yeah, remember to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.